I have got a lemon tart that is going to transport you to the Mediterranean. This is puff pastry. I'm going to take these lemons, I'm going to use a fine grater, and I'm just going to zest five lemons. This zest is going to flavour the pastry, and it's going to flavour this beautiful homemade lemon curd. I'm going to take a little spoon of icing sugar and just shake that over the top. I'm going to take half of this beautiful zest, and I'm going to scatter it from a height, folding it up like that. Can you see how we're trapping the zest and the sugar? And just roll it and roll it. So I'm going to slice this about a centimetre thick. So I'm going to use a 24 centimetre non-stick frying pan. I'm going to add a little bit of oil and I'll rub that around the bottom and the rim. Then I'm going to take this beautiful piece of laminated lemony puff pastry and I'm going to place that in the middle. And then around that, I'm going to put six little rounds. Pat this out. I'm going to take these little bits here and we're going to go up the side. That with the lemon curd. It's going to be amazing. So this is going to go into a preheated oven for 20 minutes and it's at 190 degrees Celsius. So we're going to make homemade lemon curd. About an inch of hot water we'll put onto a simmer. We need 120 millilitres of lemon juice. We're going to go in with 120 grams of icing sugar. Four lovely eggs, fresh eggs. So I'm just going to mop up this zest and sprinkle it in. Look at this water now, it's just coming to a boil. So I'm going to turn it off the boil and then I'm going to sit this on top. Over the course of about five, ten minutes, we'll come back intermittently and keeping it moving and that will thicken and thicken until it's shiny and gorgeous. So let me show you the consistency, look. Nice and thick. The pastry's going to come out so you can see what's happened there. It's billowed up, it's billowed out. What I'm going to do now is go from oven to grill. Now the good stuff goes on top. Just take a little extra icing sugar. So under the grill we go and that should be pretty quick. I'll keep an eye on that. In actual fact, I'm going to watch it. You can actually see the sugar changing. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Got a little wobble on there. The pastry is going to have crunch and texture and it's going to surprise people because they won't expect that. No way. So let that cool down to either room temperature or even in the fridge so it's cold. To finish it off, a little bit of icing sugar and then take those raspberries and literally just let them fall on top. Any old how. And around the edge, look at that. Lemon and raspberries, for some reason, are like best mates. Right, let's get amongst it. Wonderful. Mmm, so fresh. That's delicious.